Welcome to a new modern video. This is the deck that Piagonti has been winning with. He recently switched from the Mermurkti to Mono Blue Belcher and he has won a lot with it. It doesn't have the one ring, so it's still playable by my, uh, you know, content creator rules. Uh, the form is definitely narrowing down. There's basically no decks that is winning without the one ring, but Mono Blue Belcher is definitely a deck that's exploiting the one ring popularity since this card you know do not care about the one ring resolving it's definitely a deck that will survive post ban and uh, it's a deck that uh, exploits the power of this new land taken to stupor and hydroelectric specimen um, you basically now have a high density of uh, spell lands as well as of course suppression ray and waterlock teachings mh3 brought this high uh, amount of spell lands so you can have 24 lands in a deck that still kills with Goblin Charbelger. This is not my first league with this deck. Uh, I've definitely played this deck already, and at the beginning it was kind of like a meme deck, so I was just normally impressed. But now I just know it's one of the best decks in modern, and uh, you know, it keeps on doing well. Um, the plan of Falaji Archaeology, Standard Trap Trainer, and Flare of Denial is real. You also have Disrupting Shoal as an extra counter. Um, but yeah, you plus have the Tameshi Bloom and you have extra safety net with the Pact of Negation. Now, um, it is a, a deck that uh, probably struggles against Blue Black Frog Tite. Uh, it should be good against uh, uh, Boros, but now Boros doesn't play just Boros, it's splashing black for like Thoughtseize and Dreams of Steel and Oil uh, as a way to, you know, fight the Belcher deck. So the meta game is definitely moving, but you know it's moving in a in, in, in a dead direction because next month there will be a ban list. Uh, the energy deck, as we know it now, will be uh, you know ceasing to exist. Uh, my prediction is just to ban the one rank, but I can definitely see banning other cards. But you know we're not doing that right now. We're not talking about bans. We're talking about mono blue Belcher. The next ban is the 16th of December. All right, let's go. Uh, this hand is really good. I'm gonna keep it. I uh, magic on is okay. This hand is really good because we have a turn one bloom, potentially a turn four kill, resolving goblin char belcher and cracking it immediately. So we're gonna go suppression ray. It's really just the best one to start with because it's uh, white mana for the uh, Tameshi. Okay, polluted delta and pass. Lotus Bloom. Okay. Hapland and pass. There's a world in which, you know, if I put in mana up, I'm not gonna jam Belcher. Joseph, yeah, congrats on your. 13th plates. It, it's a shame that, uh, you know, in Canada you only have 12 slot. No pass down. Yeah, honestly, yesterday I was in my train. I was just constantly refreshing the page. But yeah, GG, GG. Okay, well, this one is nice. This one can grab me a... Um, I play this untapped, I don't think it matters too much. Now I think it's super up. This I can grab the Pact of Negation. And can combo on turn 5 with 1 protection. Okay, opponent didn't play Frog, which is that, like, you definitely want to play Frog there, because I can't threaten anything on my turn 3. And I, having a turn Frog, a turn 2 Frog is just insane, so I'm, I'm thankful that they didn't have it. Yeah, I mean, getting very close uh, to a PT invite is still very nice. Oh, it's that deck. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I also got very close to a PT invite in Flesh and Blood. I got I got 10th. I lost the winning in. That's how paid was getting a PT invite. So we... I was still sweating with the uh, um, tiebreakers, but didn't get there. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's just I just enjoy. I just enjoy so much learning. It's so fun to learn something new. All right, nothing to do for me on um, with the Singing to Stupor. You go back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Magic doesn't have enough uh, competitive events, so I think if you're a competitive player, <laughs> having a second game is totally reasonable now. Alright, let's cast this blue. Oh. Okay, when it taps out. Wow. Alright, so I'm gonna let this resolve, and then I'll play Goblin Char Belger. Now, I just need 20 cards in my deck. Because <laughs> if there's no- 18 cards, I need 18 cards in my deck. If my opponent mills more than 18 cards, then uh, I will not be able to deal uh, enough damage to my opponent. Are they revamping the GPs? Yeah, a grand total of two in Europe for the whole year and zero magic cons. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of events. Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But you got, you got a lot of uh, Marvel secret layers to buy, though. So It balances. I'm not the biggest fan of Teamer Ramp as it is, so I can only imagine that, you know, post ring band the deck can be better. But yeah. Yeah, I got plenty of tournaments. But I, I, I just love to play for a PT invite. Like, I really love the feeling that you enter a tournament and there's PT invites on the line. And I don't know, Flesh and Blood gives me that every, every once, every couple of months. Like, there's another one in uh, in January. The tournament in January in Prague, Czech Republic, it's super cool because it's like Cold World Premiere. So they don't in uh, they do they do it very different than Magic when there's a new set. They don't spoiler any card, and then they host a tournament on the pre-release day, where they just show all the cards before. Actually, it's not it's not the pre-release day. It's before the pre-release, so the people that want to you know follow, they have to watch that coverage or you know go to the tournament and they learn all the cards. And there's you know PT invites on the line. Yeah. The sweater, yeah. What did you did you wear that? I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it to the to the people at home because I think it's funny. Now, where did you post the picture with you wearing? The sweater? I don't know, I think it was on this other Discord. One sec, one sec, I'll find it. Yeah, so Joseph, friend of mine, printed this sweatshirt, sweatshirt written Mangus Father. But did you actually play with this? Did you, were, were you wearing it? Were you walking around with written Ma Mangus Father? Alright, my opponent hasn't milled my deck. They've done a very poor turn. I hope you don't have a stifle effect, but I doubt you do, so... Sounds worse? Nah, it's amazing. Playing at the pre-release? I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to, you, can, you also can't, you also don't go. I think it's super cool. Only for day one? Yeah, that's better. Ah, oh, you're kidding. I mean, it's, uh, if you don't put any emotes, how can I understand sarcasm on the internet? It's impossible. Alright, I'm playing against Mill. Mm. Mill, Mill, Mill. Bo, who do you want to go against Mill? Ah, nothing. My deck is perfect. 
commandeer. Honestly, when you win so soundly, you shouldn't sideboard. That's always been my... Is it between this on? Oh wow, I found a race. You like a nauseum. Oh, I love. I'd love to draw. Yeah. So right now, I I can't play the one ring. So it's actually very hard for me to stream because anytime I don't do modern content, my video is a flop. And anytime I do a the one ring content, my video is a flop. So that's like a very hard squeeze right now as a competitive player. I mean, my burn video made like 20k views, so I guess I'm gonna play burn again. <laughs> but it is, it is de definitely very hard. You know, what's he is definitely making it very hard these days between Nadu and the One Ring. Also, I kind of want to dig now a tweet I made just right after the ban of Nadu, where I said that you know they should have banned the One Ring, and that the meta game would have. Like, this would have happened, basically. Honestly, honestly, scheduled band have ruined modern right now. Scheduled band lists. Scheduled band lists are just awful for the game. You just ban whenever there's a problem. You should, you should have waited for, I don't know, six months to ban, and people just have to play with something that isn't fun. Anyway, I'll stop talking about bands. I'm just a little frustrated, but it is what it is. I gotta keep it for me. Crabble. Okay. If only there was a Crack the Earth deck. Yeah. Yeah, this crab, uh, no, it's only from Zendikar, I think. Maybe it's from, like, some random secret layer or crabs versus dogs. I don't know. You surgical my Belcher. Manacha. Alright, chat. My opponent did the combo. My opponent comboed me. I I'll concede. I'll concede to the combo. I had a shoal, but no one drop. Alright, alright. Maybe I won't force if my opponent plays it in their turn. I guess I won't force. I'll cut Commandeer. I don't know. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel good. Three hand has been fantastic so far, but yeah. I I swear I open every hand with like lands, blooms, and Belcher. It's not always like this. No, I don't think so. Tassa's Oracle is still great, no? You have uh, Tassa's Oracle plus uh, Unjust Grace plus um, Spose of the Vault as a three-card combo. Three-card combo, I can tell, is much more than one-card combo. Keldok Elit. Labo, how was, how was the last weekend? I heard you were playing and not judging. How does it feel to play and not judge? Did I miss a land drop? Oh shit, I'm sorry chat. I was, uh, I made a mistake. I will uh, play land drops next turn when I can, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have to wait for blooms anyway on turn four. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that we need to do too much. Speaking of having to do too much, at uh, twelve thirty, I gotta, I gotta go pick up Carl and Toffer from the airport and we're gonna do a lot of content this week streaming the is streaming in the morning and then we're gonna shoot all the videos in the afternoon while they chill 
in Senigallia is going to be extremely fun. I have built six vintage decks. Wow, Mockingbird. I've built six vintage decks. No proxies. I guess, I mean, cards overlap between each other. But, uh, you know, it's not like I have five Black Lotus. But no, no proxies. When the games will be played. Content will be uploaded on both YouTube channels. No, 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 just mine, because... My production is much lower than them, so I retweet what they, I, rec I repost what they do, but they don't repost what I do. <laughs> Alright, it's time for the Lotus Blooms to calm down. Sheesh, if I have 10, uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Cast. Yeah, pre-modern video today. Today, me and Tommy... Uh, today scheduled a uh, 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 Among Us workshop, pre-modern, Mono Blue, right now, versus Zoo. And also, Tommy and Toffel will play pre-modern on, uh, I mean, in the future. They will be posted in the future, but they will record this week. This week we will record around 8 or 9 videos. So Tommy will have a, a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every Monday we have we try to have a work mangoes workshop video. And every day I try to have a I mean I have a um Andre Mangucci video on the other YouTube channel. That's my schedule. What's for payment for SCG? I don't know what's SCG. I don't do these acronyms. Just 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 write three words. One of the red now is is super strong. It's it's the best deck. It's the best deck for sure. All right. Hey, unfortunately, chat. I only have nine mana, but at the end of the day, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. That yeah. Right. Quattro. Yeah. So let's go. Um, like this. Quattro. I guess. I guess I. I will. I will play this land untapped. I'm gonna kind of like spell peers. They played Run in the Lock. I'm gonna go sink into Stupor on the Run in the Lock. And then again, they can mill me 19 cards. It is it is actually possible. What's the business with Secret Restoration? I mean, I'm not a land that does the same. You don't you don't cast this card too often. I mean you do with the Tameshi, but yeah. I'm sure you can come up with a replacement for this. There's, you know, other islands that are coming to play tapped or you know, things like that. We had an eleven-way tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, the way the tiebreaker work in Flesh and Blood is much different than Magic. It's and it's actually much, much, much simple to understand. Uh, it's just when you picked up your last loss. Okay, so if you picked up your last loss, I picked up my last loss in the last round, and the one before it was like the um, round seven. Okay, so those were my two losses. Whereas the people above me, Trusik Jacob and Van Giesel Paul, maybe picked up their last loss in the last round and in the penultimate round. So they have a, they, they have the tiebreaker. It's it's very it's a, it's actually very simple. All right, oof, my opponent made a good player. They they're they're replicating this, meaning that I can't I can't counter them both. Thinking to stupor to counter, sorry, disrupting shoal to counter needs to hit exactly the the amount of mana. So I just I just don't have it. Okay, a way I could do is seek to sink into stupor my Belcher. But then Allora, let's let's think about this. Because if I sink into stupor my Belcher, well I have Belcher in my hand, but I can't cast it. I think I'm just passing the turn. And then I'll go with her invention. We're invention later. And if they um, try to surgical the the Belcher, I can go disrupting shoal for three, which will kill my bloom. But you know it is what it is. Oh yeah, true. We can only target your opponent card. All right, never mind. I couldn't even do that. All right. Eh. 
Yes, unfortunately, I have to disrupt a shoal, so I'll have to lose another bloom. Yeah, it is, it is bad right now, very bad. And uh, there was, even if I didn't miss a land drop, there was not, there was not much I could have done, I think. Feels worse breakers. I don't know if it's worse because at the end of the day, it's like you know, if you're going deep in the tournament, you're likely to have good breakers anyway, and that's just much simpler to follow. Whereas in Magic, it's just you know you need a program to have tiebreakers. Whereas that one is is simple. Which how about your deal left? Actually, that's a good question. I have two left in my 18 cards deck, so I could draw it now. It'd be good. Electric Trainer. How many blooms have left? Oh, I have zero blooms left. Sheesh. All right. Well, I can cast this one. It's not bad. Hope I can pick up Belcher. Oh, come on. I still don't pick up Belcher. Yeah, I think this is G to the G then. I have 16 cards, and opponent has the Shell ED. Oh yeah, right, I don't have cards in my deck anymore for Belcher. Okay, I have no more win cons. Yeah, so Mill has actually been winning a lot. Tibalt of the Subred won two challenges. Uh, I guess spring on Belcher? Yeah, maybe, maybe. This is a good matchup. I mean, it does seem like a good matchup for them. And not only they have counters, they have Surgical, they have Thoughtseize, they also have a... Uh, just, just taking out my decks, I can't win anymore with it. Alright, that was an easy game for my opponent. New and I do have lands, I don't have the... The, 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 the... I guess it's the, the, the... Zero mana, the Black Lotus, which is... Uh, it makes all the hands worse when, you're, when your combo deck doesn't have Black Lotus. It is worse. Okay, Ragaban. Ragaban, very good. Very good on the play against this deck, for sure. I was on the, I was on the play. I would have done this to block it, but, you know, I lost the die roll, so here we are. I'm not going. Okay, opponent's playing. It's playing Jund. Oh no. Alright, looks like they want to needle my. my Belcher, which is going to make my life harder because then I have to like seek into Stew for the needle. This is classic leagues uh, where you play against the, you know, the off meta decks. Nobody plays the ring in the leagues because everyone wants to have fun. All right, uh, well, I did find the bloom, so I'll probably pick it up. But now in order to win, I have to answer this needle, which will make my life much, much harder. No, they cannot play cards with Cascade. So if they hit Lotus, they can't. That was the thing with um, Crashing Footfalls, if you remember. Oh, wow, Tar Fire, this is a 5-6 all of a sudden. Force Karl and Torf to the stream. No, they're here for the YouTube channel, not for the stream. Draw. Can I survive a couple of turns? Not really. Yeah, I gotta I got destroy this game. I was also on the draw. If I was on the play, I would have lived at least one more turn. All right, well, this is tough. This is tough. <sighs> I'm getting, I'm getting crushed. Okay, so spells near seem strong, but I'm unable to stream. Sponsor conflict? 
Oh, it's just that uh, they didn't come here for that reason. They came here for the YouTube channel. I don't wanna. I don't wanna break deals. Okay. Do I want to have a? Uh... Huh. Is Flare of Denial good? Because they like kill my creatures. Maybe they only kill my... Okay, you know what? I'm going to Arbinger the Seas. I don't care. I think I want to take out Disrupting Shoal. I'll bring in one unable to stream. And then on Thursday, all together, we're going to go to Rome for the Popper Geddon. And then on Sunday, there's also the... The big destination qualifier. Big, big, big. Bonjour, Bayen. Welcome, welcome. Thankfully, the sponsors are super chill about our cross, uh, you know, our cross deal. That, you know, the car market guys, my, my, my YouTube channel is sponsored by TCG Player, so... You know, the two rivals, but, you know, they've never, they never care. Or at least they never told me they care, so. It's very good for me. Okay, Kiske Fem. Falaji or Tundra Trap Trainer? Maybe Falaji, because it doesn't die to Tarfire. I'm gonna go land. The score of the league is up. Oh, is up my head. We lost round one to Mill, and we're down a game against Jund. Saga, that's gonna die. Are real rivals? Nah, but like they advertise the same thing. You know what I mean? Man, that was a that was a good turn. That was a good turn. And now they have the treasure to kill my Harbinger too. Jeez, that's that's painful. Hope they just use it right away for I don't know. Not a thoughts is though. Necrogoyf. Nedergoyf. Mm. Let's go Harbinger. Actually the fact that they have this Ragavan is annoying. Maybe my play last turn was just to unable to scream uh, this Ragavan. Yeah, maybe it was that. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you a treasure. I hope you don't use it to kill my Harbinger. Okay, that's good news. Okay, so I draw Belcher. All right, what do I want to do? Uh, let me go for Laji. You see Nedergoyf and now you're rooting for the opponent. Oh, it's totally fine to root for the opponent. They, their, their deck is cool. I agree. I agree with you. I think I'm going to grab the Snare here. Yes. Then I go Island. I want to enable to stream the Nethergoyf. Because I can block the Ragavan with Palaji. Then I can spell Snare if they have a 2 drop that disrupts my cards. I'm attacking. Let's go Arbinger. I, get, I can win on damage in this game. The Needle is... The Belcher is Needled. Okay. A Bowmaster. Alright, well, it was a, definitely a risky attack. I didn't think about the Bowmaster. Bowmaster is notoriously not very good against Belcher, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so now, ideally, they can't cast a card anymore and they lose the game. Yes. Perfecto. So the Harbinger of the Tides won. But maybe only one on the draw. Yeah, maybe on the play I want... Sorry, I meant to say on the play. On the draw, I want all of the... Unable to scream. You know what's bad on the draw? Flare of Denial. This card seems bad on the draw. Yeah, I'd rather have the Disrupting Shoal and the Force of Negation. Yeah, let's go. 
I think Harbinger on the draw is just not good. It's just not good. Like, they're just pressuring me, and like, in what world I can tap 3 for a 2-2 two -two when they have removal spell, a mana up, or just creatures that attack me. I, th I think in no world. So I think it's important to do that. Another thing that's very cool of Flesh and Blood is that being on the like losing the die roll doesn't punish you almost at all. Like it's just the same. The, the variance is very reduced in that game, for real. But multi four. I guess they definitely have variance. Hope they don't like surgical. <laughs> Discard in surgical my Belcher. Mountain, uh -huh. va bene. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna be unable to stream that Ragavan. Cannot display their games anymore. Sorry, Ragavan. Time to become a doll and do nothing. Wait, it turns it into an artifact? I didn't know that. I said, where does it say it's an artifact? Oh, it does. Toy artifact creatures. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? And I swear, I played this card infinitely in Limited. I never knew it would become an artifact. All right. If anyone wants to click a button, I am okay with that. Uh, so here, I think I want to just take three and play Falaji. I think it's strong to play Falaji. Yeah, yeah. And none of the toys are artifacts. They just, I don't know, never came up. Uh, I'll get a land, thank you. You don't like Belcher being good? It's not ideal, but usually it's a combo deck, so it loses to counter. It's just that right now counters are almost unplayable in this format. So, you know, when the metagame becomes normal again, Belcher will be fine. It will be a strong deck that punishes the... the non-counter uh, decks. Which is good because we love counters so anything that punishes a non-counter deck it's good for the format man that one pithy needle was in every hand opponent in every hand dio carlo va bene va bene fallaggi Eh, eh, yeah. Take sorcery, so this goyf is. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, play this. Ramp plus Bozeju is GG. It's very good. Ramp plus Bozeju, for sure. Hopefully, they don't find Bozeju. Yeah, I am also like taking damage, serious damage here. I think I think I'm I think I'm chum blocking. I think I'm starting the chum. Eh, 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 eh. I don't really have a plan right now. Giganta's coming. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show Giganta pitch suppression so right next to her. Oh. Heads clap. Heads clap. I didn't even think about the portable hole. I didn't even think about the portable hole. So I just win here. I go wear invention for bloom. The next turn I have eight mana. Oh no, I have seven mana. Hmm. Well, I'm still, I'm still gonna do that. Oh yeah, I could have also. I could also Jawari, you're right, you're right. I could also Jawari. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, I should I should have like top land Jawari. Sorry, portable hole and then Jawari. Because I think I have to play portable hole. Right? Because if the opponent goes Thoughtseize on my portable hole, it's very bad. But I feel like if I go weird now for Bloom, I can win the game next turn. Yeah, I think I should think about winning the game next turn. Rather than playing around the Thoughtsy's draw. I thought this draw is bad, I I don't deny that. 
chump. But yeah, the one on portable hole, uh, very important. So here my line would have probably been, oh wow, they don't actually go Giganta, what do you do? They're looking for Baseju maybe. No, they leave it on top, oh no. Oh, no. I can't do much there. I guess if the thought is I can just hard cast this Raptor Shoal. Okay, okay, okay. You flipped Tarmogoyf. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta win now. So that's too many people. It's too many people. But I draw an untapped land now. Let's go. Untapped land for Mangu? Quasi. Am I dead? It, uh, so if I port a whole at Tarmogoyf, I survive, but what's my life at that point? I think I port a whole the Tarmogoyf. Because I'm 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The pressure ray is not as good as you think. It actually doesn't do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't put any stun counter. Or it does it. Yeah. Right? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Opponent with the painted needle in the opening end every game. So... I think this hole was a static prison. What changes? What changes? Ah, oh, because you can go this and that. Uh, well, but I mean, you play portable hole because you can tutor it with wear. That's the reason. Hey, nada, I lost the game. Opponent uh, for two mana put six power into play. It actually gave me the lethal clock. Well, I mean, there's a world in which they miss lethal, I guess. Right? There is a world in which they miss lethal. I think I'm gonna hope they miss lethal and not actually go for Goyf because I think if I go portable hole on Goyf I have no outs. I only have one hole. So here I just have to hope they miss lethal. But that's gonna be very hard because they just need to attack and ping me with Bren. So no, that's actually the first thing they do. Alright, is there any two drop I can tutor with Waterlog Grove? Sorry, Water whatever. I don't think so. Yeah, that's GG. That's GG. That's GG. Bella, 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 GG. All right, all to start, but you know the games are close. I think it's, I think it's still good content. But the Twitter Bane Veil, yeah, that's true. I could have survived, but then I don't have Bloom anymore, so we're dead. We are dead. Put them all to four that game. So, you know, it shows that you, if your hand is no interaction for a combo deck, you know, modeling into four is good. This is only a one lander, unfortunately. I do have a shoal though. Sorry, Bloom though, and a shoal. I think I got a mulligan. I think one lander is too little. All right, this is much better. Oh, we're playing against the, the big friendly gamer. That's a keep. Our big friendly gamer, I played against them the other day and they were playing blue, black. So I think I'm gonna hold the pact and bottom the shoal. But I want both of these and I definitely want these three. Food is one of the best part of traveling. All right, never mind. I don't play blue black.
I don't know, the best part of traveling. What's the best part of traveling? Honestly, I love the checking in a hotel and seeing the new room. That's like a really nice feeling, you know? Let us bloom. And the truck trainer. Let's grab a land if it's possible. Okay. Okay, they got Flare of Denial. I just... Ah, maybe I should just go Flare of Denial here and then I go Falaji. Yeah, I think Flare of Denial is like Force of Will, basically. And then I have Falaji for uh, an, a land, possibly. Because like, they can already play the one ring or car and on turn two. All right. They got Aldrazi Temple. The next balance will be next month. So it's one month of the same stale format. Don't worry. All right, all right. Immediately got uh, punished by a second flare. And Falaji misses a land drop. So exactly the worst game scenario. Crazy. Ah, uh, not jamming. Oh, man, it's fine. It's, I have to flare of denial. It can't be bad. But it is, it is unfortunate. You know, like, you know, I drew a 1 out of 3 and bricked on 1 out of 20 on the top, like, 4. Like, you know, sometimes. Okay. The bar of destiny. All right. Yeah, I think I like to force this. I mean, this card is dying anyway, and now I have a second one, so I think it's, I think it's good to force this. Like this thing, I have to block it. It's like big. Eventually, I have to block it, not immediately. If I didn't have a second one, maybe I wouldn't have, but uh, I did. So. Okay, hopefully I draw lands. Okay, that's a land. All right, because I missed land last turn, I don't win this turn, but you know. Can't complain, can't complain. I can't like we're for a belcher and then we're for sorry, we're for a bloom and then we're for a belcher. I need all of this. I have double flip flare, double counter. Also Pacto Negation counts now because I can win. I can win in my upkeep. So I can even cast Pacto Negation this turn. Because in my upkeep I can we are for Belcher and, and shoot. You like the best the best part of Pacto Negation in this deck is that you don't have to pay for five. You can just win in upkeep. Todd, Todd not here? What's that? What's happening? A merdacha. Yeah, so I've made a video with this guy. I think in ramp doesn't go great, but in aggro, in aggro goes great. In the Drazi aggro is good, but in the Drazi ramp is not that good. It's just a dude. And the word seven is. Not that relevant if you're playing a control deck. I say nove. I'll go weird. Aspetta un attimo, I need 10. I need 10, right? Um. Yeah, I was one mana short of winning in upkeep. You're right. I underestimated how much mana you need to do that play. I needed 10, but, you know, I drew a land, so. It's fine. It's not my opponent had anything anyway. 
All right, I'm gonna bring in Commandier in force. This is, this is the anti ring. Again, not that you care about ring. It's the card you want against that, I think. Like stealing a ring is always good. Maybe just a couple of shoals can go out. Do I want Harbinger? No, not really. I want portable hole? Maybe. If they have like this disrupting flute. Punisher, thank you for the 13th month. Willkommen! Practicing my German. But when Hoffel arrives. Best deck in the format. Yeah, best deck in the format. Zero two start. <laughs> zero two start, but you know, it was the classic zero two that. Uh, it was close. It wasn't like a zero two destroyed, outplayed. My deck is awful. It was a zero two close games. Fun games, too. All right. Well, we got. I have three lands and a Belcher. I'm not gonna mulligan gonna hand that, that just doesn't have a Lotus Bloom. So having Lotus Bloom is pretty sick. A Yin Veil. Oh, Tonnet's here? Oh no, Glaring Flesh Raker. This card rocks. Rock solid. Do I wanna. That's my plan now. Do I wanna keep up mana for Jawari? Or do I wanna go Tonnet Trip Trainer? This, here the plan is turn three Belcher. Sorry, turn three Weir. Turn, get a, get a bloom. Turn four, Tameshi Belcher kill. So that's my plan. All right. So maybe I just hold up Jawari this turn. I don't know. Maybe I should just play Thunder Trip Trainer to get force. Maybe, maybe that's a, that, that's a better line. Yeah. Whenever you do this like nice little fancy line, it's usually... It's usually not a good idea, but we'll see. All right, I guess it was a good idea. I can just worry this Donuts here. Okay, okay. Good line. You got a token. I should have played Thonis here before playing this brawl. <laughs> Lotus Bloom is gonna probably be irrelevant in this game. I can play the Species Man and pass. Let's hope they don't go like this for my land this turn. They just go 7-7, seven, seven, no abilities. It does have 7 abilities, but they're basically none. Two to 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 and now we go off through the train of sphere. Blanco. Blue, blue. Tam Eshi. Boom. Done. Return. And now we just win. Tameshi. Uh, 
Tam esci e rientra, esci e rientra. Calcer e spatatrack. Easy game. Yeah, it stops them from playing Kozilek's command. <laughs> That's funny. All right. The, f the ideal opponent to all your league. All right. This hand, I think I'm going to keep it. I have Commandeer for his the one ring. Okay. Happy to draw lands into lands here. Okay. Hmm. Play this untapped because I have a uh, Flare of Denial to counter his Teferi. Although obviously I could I could commandeer the Teferi. I think it's pretty good if I commandeer the Teferi. Narset. Do I wanna commandeer an Arset? Probably. Commandeer Narset and what do I pitch? Narset gives me a land. I think I'm gonna hold it and disruptive shoal and the uh, flare. So if I put in place force of negation on my belcher, I can disruptive shoal it. So I'm going to pitch these two cards. Untap and draw. Uh, minus two Narset. Get Flare of Denial. Uh, now the problem is, if I land a Belcher opponent, I can just exile it with uh, some ways. Maybe I was supposed to get Pact of Negation. Uh, Pact of Negation actually was not ideal because I, uh, you know, opponent could have just forced some negation my Belcher. So I can either play Belcher. Let me see uh, LVC last list. LVC and VGO. Because I think. No. EVC. I got EVC. I thought it was always LVC. I thought it was LVC instead of EVC. So he plays. Uh, oh, wow. Three Wandering Emperor. He plays March. Oh, okay. I guess the Pioneer. Oh, he never plays Modern lately. Hmm. Does he have uh What's his way to deal with my Belcher? He doesn't have it. He doesn't have a way to deal with my Belcher. He just has forced some negation. Huh. So I think I'm gonna slam. Yeah, I think I'm gonna slam here. In Pioneer he could. <laughs> so he just goes force of negation and go shoal. Yeah, that was the plan. That was the whole plan. Perfect. And now we just pass with a Belcher. Good. Good plan, Mango. Good plan. You planned ahead, played around the right stuff, and you worked out. Just like Dr. Garfield intended. Was I going to do fire? Oh, I wanted to see this list again. Sign to memory, it's a cyber card. Mystical dispute is a cyber card. Five cards to cut, but really no idea what to do. <laughs> this is difficult. Maybe Spellsnare is not that good. I mean, he counters, counters spells. It can't be that bad, but that's about it. So maybe, yeah, I just don't bring it in. 
It's weird because I kind of suppose obviously the card opponent will have. And I like a castle ball so far. I mean, that's that's the card I have. I don't have infinite cards. This Reptile surely is strong, so I'm gonna hold it. Maybe I cut a Lotus Blue? And I cut a Tameshi? Yeah, not not that much. I mean, it's weird to cut Lotus Bloom, I know, but Bo, maybe you don't need it that much in this matchup. Buy in. Uh, no, no preference. No preference. Just making content. Just making content, clicking buttons, you know, the usual. All right, sounds nice. Keep, keep Shimas. Okay, where's the teeth go? Go. I didn't even need to commandeer that Narset, that's funny. I guess that Narset would have given me a fourth lane, which I didn't have. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Wow, that's revealed a counter spell to the graveyard. That means they have a lot of counters, but just missing land drops. That's good news for me. I land this Falaji, which can grab it. I mean, anything, but then I flare the Nile on. Well, one that, or I think I'll get Suppressure Ray, because if my opponent counters this Bloom, my Tameshi will need a White Source. So despite Jawari is slightly better, well, this one has to be countered. Otherwise, I'll lose the game. No, not lose the game, but you know, it's bad. This combo is so good. Falaji plus Flare. It's so good. It's a force, but it's not card disadvantage. Hmm. All right, I can honestly just resolve Tameshi now. Yeah, I think it's pretty great if I do that. Yeah, next turn, I'll have the bloom on the stack. Well, if you force the negation it, I can still go Weird Invention. So I think I will play Tameshi here. Yeah, but yeah, I think, I think Stray Raid is a scam. Don't play Stray Raid. Stray Rake gives you the idea that it's free, but two life is so much. It matters so much. In a, in a blue red deck. Alright, here I'm going Tameshi. I'm just jamming it, because I have another one. So if they go like Prismatic Ending, I'm alright. Because I can I can still go off next turn. Wow, subtlety pitch force of negation. <laughs> What if I bottom this? No, I think I'll top it. I think my opponent has a counterspell in end, so it'll just counterspell Tameshi next turn, and I'm okay with that because I have a follow up. A follow up one. Cosmic Rebirth on Teferi. Oh, porca merda, questo m'ha inculato. Va bene. Now my bloom uh, just stays exiled forever. Mannaggia. Stanno proprio inculato. Va bene. Uh, yeah, can cast it. Despite magical line <laughs> wants you to click on it. This is legendary, so I can't attack with two of them on Teferi, unfortunately. Marcet. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine. They, I thought I thought they had counter spell, but I guess oh they got force negation. Sheesh. Force negation you found? Porca boia. Because I had it. I could have gone Weir for Bloom and then Tameshi the, the Bloom. But they have Force negation in end now. It's like a qua. Alright, I'm going to go Falaji first. Looking for an untapped plan to then go Tameshi. And then I have two creatures in play to attack with. Yeah, it didn't work out. Yeah, I'll probably just concede, you know. Let's just respect our opponent. They have six cards, a force, the fairy narset. Don't let's not waste time. Alright. 
Man, citing out Bloom and Tameshi is weird because these cards are amazing, so I really shouldn't do that. That's a side of art. It's so hard to sideboard. Every card is a banger. Do I send me 62? No, 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 it's a sin. And I think that's the only reasonable play to side out Bloom and Tameshi. Maybe, maybe Commandeer is bad. But commandeering at the fair is so strong, though. Okay, what does this hand look like? It's fine, it could be anything. It's a little bit slow because I only have two top lands. But... On top land would be nice. Okay, that's, that's good. On top land would have been very, very nice though, but that's okay. I mean, that was the hand I kept, so you know, I can't be expected to draw on top land on the first turn. All right, let's hope this resolves. The in sorry, um, Thunder Trip Trainer. I drew out the top land, so it's nice. You know, not missing a land drop is a big deal. Do, 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 do. Bain Veil. Cool. Please don't interfere me. Thank God. Thank God I didn't interfere me. All right, trainer. Again. Hopefully this resolves and I hit it on top land so I can go another one. Oh uh, yeah, I'll I'll get a, I'll get a top land. I definitely need lands to play this game. I have three more of these guys that I want to cast. I think a one two in play is also not bad because you know it attacks the fairy or Narset. I think they just go cosmic rebirth on a land. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. Now, obviously, I can double spell with uh, the extra land drop. End of turn. Mm hmm. Hmm. This one can be maybe uh, offspringed. So I'm just going to play Falaji first. And now my goal is to find Belcher or Weirs. I don't, so I just find a land. It's okay. Another one. I had five in my opening end, so it's a lot of card selection. Disrupting Shoal, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, I need to make a land drop and I'll uh, play it uh, tapped. Do I want to attack? Yeah, let's attack. I mean, I can go technically. The one. No, I can't have Wandering Emperor. That was not a format. Mm hmm. Planes untapped. Mm hmm. Okay. I guess some hedging against uh, Arbinger of the Seas that I may have. The Shulk can counter a 3 drop and a 2 drop. Or a 7 drop. But if they play something like. The one ring, oh, Laura revealed, draw three cards. Do I want to commandeer this? Well, that's pretty good. They have probably command, no, command uh, the counter for one mystical dispute, which I guess I can shoal. So I'd be using my whole end. I think it's like a swing of six cards if I commandeer this, so I will. I'm gonna go Commandeer, Pitching, Sink it to Stupor for sure, and probably Shoal. Just leave up with Flare and, and Thunder Trip Trainer. Yeah. And if I draw an untapped land, I can Offspring this. Alright, so Lord of the Old Result, and I draw three. So they have in hand probably the one mana counter and artifact card. I drew Belcher. Obviously, I don't have seven mana, but, you know. I can probably, yeah, I think, I think I like to cast it. I mean, I can also Offspring Trainer. Hmm. Man, Offspring and Train. Like, the problem with playing Belcher is if they just have a disenchant, it's bad, right? But Teferi of two counters. So my plan is, I go 
Belcher for four. My opponent goes. Counter for one, I go Flare. And then I have Shoal with Species Man. The man of the species. Yeah, it's probably alright. Do I want to play an untap land? Then I would need to pitch Tameshi. Play on top land lets me play trainer. Hmm. I guess I could play trainer first. Yeah, I'm gonna play trainer first. Ooh, the BF gamer. This time I got my revenge. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Okay, so. Hmm. Well, I can go. I can go weird now and try to combo, right? I go I go on top land weird for yeah. Yeah, that should be a win. Land untapped. Weird for bloom. There we go, Tameshi. And I have Flare of Denial up. Plus, I think they hold the, the counter target colorless card, which does nothing in the spot. I made my land drop already. I guess they can solid shit Tameshi, but I still hold like all these counters. I don't have like a plethora of different CMC in my hand. Also, Jawari Disruption now. Like, eventually, I'll win this game. Doesn't really matter. I can even get the Pact of Negation now to have like infinite protections. Yeah, playing the long game against this deck is definitely. It's definitely hard. I'm gonna just get... I guess I don't need to get more mana. I'll play Belcher, you go... You go counter, and I have, uh, you know, all these counters back. Yeah. Yeah, we, we lost the mill in round one. I think it was gonna go Jawari Disruption. It, it doesn't matter. I have it all. We just have it all. Do 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 do. All right, let's play the last match. I gotta go to the bathroom though, so I'll be right back for round five very quickly today. Secret Foundry untapped and Ragaban. Hey, che cazzo. Uh, hey, Ragaban on the play all the time. Does, does, does it never happen that we win the Daryl against Ragaban? No, eh? My, io caro. If you go to turn to archaeologists, then they go Ragaban. Top plan go. We are belching, Dracor. Thank you for the 18th month. Welcome, welcome. Oh, this end is really good. Really, really good. But obviously, a turn to Ragavan can take away the game. Negations, hope they can cast, hope they cast it. Okay, bombardment. That's not that threatening. Ah, Ragavan stealing the cards is not great. Ragavan ramping is great. That's 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 always been the most threatening card, the threatening ability. 
Okay, let's go for Laji or Trainer. I think they're similar. Trainer just digs a bit deeper. All right. Okay, let's think about this. I have a third landing end and a bloom, so I have enough mana. Do I want to get... I think I'm going to get Belcher. I'm just, I'm just going to get Belcher. It's just a kill if I draw land next turn. Or the turn after. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Ragabun can connect. Let's see what I hit, but probably there's like not that much. I mean, they can cast Trainer, but if they cast Trainer, I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, casting Trainer and finding uh, whatever, it's all right. They got the One Ring. That's okay. The One Ring is not good against this deck, thankfully. It's a tiny bit too slow. The game should be over soon here. Allora, let's play Falagi. Ooh, librarian, 38 months. Buongiorno from Washington, D.C., you say. What's to do in Washington, D.C.? You're watching the new... The new president joining the White House? Gonna go land go. I picked up a flare of denial. Nothing great, but I guess something that I can pitch to Shoal if they do, I don't know, a strong card. I think that the other the other option was just terrible. I need a land, unfortunately. I don't have a fourth land and tap to win the game next turn. Static Poisson. Static Poisson. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I don't care. Three damage, get a ten. I'm on eight. I'm on eight with the bombardment. But if I don't find a land now, or a tap mesh, you red, white, white. Okay, you play the ring. Unfortunately, that has to resolve. I wish I had a Commandeer. It'd be very good. All right, time to draw on top land for the win. But yeah, I'm glad they played a ring instead of another creature. Because that would have been actually lethal. Okay. A uh, seventh land, a uh, fourth land wins. Tameshi wins.
actually. Yes. Go Belcher. Upkeep, we shoot. Because now they have the protection from ring, but in the upkeep, they lose it. They don't even play Bolt anymore. You know who was the first who created the deck? And thankfully, in Magic, there is no <laughs> licensing. But no, it was definitely a lot of people toying with Belcher and the Oops of Spells for the longest of the time. It's just in MH3 that it a lot more. Pulling is shooting me. I'm at 6. I'm at 5. At 2 bolts, I lose. We don't have 2 bolts. Alright. Sideboarding against Boros, I'll have Unable to Stream and Spell Snare and Portable Hole, so that's seven cards. The card I'm taking out, I assume, will be Flare of Denials and Disrupting Shoals. I guess Pact of Negation is also bad. But maybe Flare of Denial is alright. Maybe Force of Negation is better than Flare of Denial. It's just, I think it's just difficult to hold the creature in play. So as you saw, Flare of Denial is just not good because... It was just difficult to keep a creature in play, so I'd rather have Force of Negation. Commandeer is, 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 is good against the Fairy, that's for sure. But in the end of the day, of course, counters, free, free counter spells is where the value is at. But again, the reason to play this deck in current modern is definitely to prey on the the one ring decks like today in this league we 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 beat i mean won the one ring deck and now we are up a game against the second one i got every game on the play but thankfully post sideboard we are have a, a blue source to plowshares nice draw mango blue source to plowshares unable to scream i'm glad i have the one off force of negation over flare denial Yeah, for those who uh, live nearby Rome, on Sunday, there is a very big uh, qualifier in Rome. Eight invites for the RC. And three, $3,000 in prizes. Eight invites for the RC is not common for us in Europe. It's uh, definitely a special invite, a special tournament. Opponent goes Static Prison. Ma pensa te. I wonder why. Ah, oh, come here, Adolo Misato. I'm sorry, chat. Maybe I was supposed to force that. I missed that interaction. I thought they were just getting two energy, but not even. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I should have forced it. Okay. My bad. I didn't. I don't know why. I saw my board. It was empty. I was like, all right, whatever it's doing. I don't care. Yeah. Missed, missed, missed. It's okay. Utameshi 2. That's a really good draw. Okay, so I'm actually going to preserve life total and not just go sink to super untapped. I just play a top lane and pass. Yeah, this weekend in UK, you have a Pro Tour invites, right? That's cool. In the UK, they have a tournament series called Axion now, and there's a Pro Tour invite for the winner of the final. Winner of the, the top 8, or I don't know, top 32. That you qualify. 2 mana, you play a Gianni. Va bene. I'm gonna force the Bombardment now. Yeah, big fan of store that can run tournaments, uh, whatever the format they want. 
and not having to follow the oh you have to play standard rules all right untap i'm at 13 which sounds like a lot but <laughs> if a giant flips uh, you can deal a lot of damage oh look this stuff's got a merda mandala così uh let's play sink it to stupor tapped yeah 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 next turn if any of my opponent doesn't chance my blooming upkeep i can still like play on top land tamashi and do the thing you seen the actual Lurkana prizes uh, and i see it no no i don't play Lurkana. i don't follow anything i can't i barely have time to follow <laughs> what i follow uh see I mean, if they go bombard, I meant insta kill, so we have to force it. You don't attack with a Johnny. Why? You need to convoke? What's going on? Chat. Why is not attacking with the Johnny? What's going on? Why do you need it in tap for? White red. White. Return Giganta. Mo si a caso ne abbiamo. Alright, well. Ajani decided to stay back for the greater good. Oh, something is happening in my upkeep. What is it? Are you convoking with Ajani? Olim's chant. Oh, porco cazzo. That's okay, though. We can't play around it. I go fours, and then I have four mana to go Tameshi. And uh, having one left because I left the Sinking to Stupor as a final card. That's okay. We played uh, perfect. Not countering uh, a static prison worked perfectly fine. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go. Secret Super, untapped, white, blue, Tom Eshi, one white floating. Don't have anything, opponent. Don't have removal spell, don't have surgical. Just let me combo and kill you. Uh, is there a world where I get one of these back? I don't think it matters. Maybe two mana was better for Shoal instead of three. It's a Galvanica. Cha Galvanica, Galvanica, Galvanica. Okay. Am I dead? I had one card and it was it was the good one. I draw a card. Let's see what it is. It's a, a one four though. It's a one four. Attenzione. Attenzione. And go tap land. Am I dead on board? I say. Yeah, that's okay. So I played. I spent. Oh, I already played a land. I see. All right, I passed it. Well, I streamed some standard in standard season. I can't. There are my. The standard videos are 100% a failure. <laughs> like, I can't uh, do that. I am a slave of the views. The competitive players are like probably 1%, maybe 2% of the people who consume content. I think I'm gonna go Spicy Man now.
and uh, we block Ragaban. Yes, but do we block Ragaban or do we block Ocelot? Let me think about this. Probably Ragaban, right? Yeah, I take Forget too. Uh, the, the algorithm is brutal. Anytime you post a new thing, like anytime you post a video, YouTube shows it to your viewers and the viewers don't click on it because, you know, it's not their target. The algorithm just make it disappear in one second. So anytime you have something that's not normal, it just disappears in a second. It is very brutal to rebrand on YouTube. Like it's better off to just change YouTube channel. <laughs> and start a new YouTube channel. You block Ocelot, I'm dead. Uh, you are right, I would have been dead if I blocked Ocelot. Do I have any outs? Mm, no, right, I don't have any outs. Yeah, I don't have any outs. My out is to remove a time counter on this. Bainville, huh, that's so funny. Bainville makes me survive, you're right. Yeah, that's true, Bainville makes me win. Your cattle. Wow, that would be super cool because I can go top lane, be invale, survive, and then bloom Belcher. All right, we did. I pointed at two cards that were Orm's Chant and Galvanic Discharge. That's that's no joke. Two cards left. That was very good. But finally, we're on the play. Yeah, no, so Twitch, it's more competitive. YouTube, it's much more casual. As in, uh, the people that uh, watch Twitch tend to be more into the competitive scene. But uh, the people that watch YouTube, like, I don't know, if you're watching this video on YouTube right now, for example, do you play Standard? Would you click on a Standard video? You know? And this is very important, because <laughs> anytime you release a... <laughs> a video and it gets like, you know, two or three thousand views, it's, it's a failure. Okay. Hmm. This end is not great, but who am I to mulligan in the game of Magic the Gathering? Who am I to do such play? No Ragavan, but Ocelot Pride. See if I draw a land for Falaji. On top land, I mean. There it is. All right. Happy. Good draw. And now Falaji can also, I can also consider not taking anything with this because one four is huge. But there's a Lotus Bloom. Lotus Bloom is pretty good. But a 1-4? A 1-4 is massive. You know what? Lotus Bloom, I may I may miss this. I may regret this play, but I'm gonna click no. No. I got a 1-4 here. Yeah, I definitely have considered re-downloading Arena on my phone and playing some standard to practice for the PT, the PT Chicago. Because I haven't played Santa in a long time, and uh, on Arena is very easy. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe one day. White and red, Gianni. I'm gonna force it. Force of negation. Sorry, force of will, actually. An actual factual force of will. No, 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 no. This is Exile. Oh, no, it's not Exile. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, Tameshi. Tameshi is good there. And boom, look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna top line go. Top line go, keep up Jawari. Force of food that doesn't cost me a life, right? That's true. Cool game. This was the last match of the league. It's crazy how fast this league was, despite we played like almost maximum games. 
Imagine playing like so many games if we were playing, I don't know, another deck. <laughs> like a pauper deck. That'd be crazy. Speaking of pauper, this this Saturday I'll go to Pauper Geddon, Rome. I haven't played Pauper in a long time. So I'll probably be a big fish. Because usually I go like to different formats tournament every time every week. But I test in those three or four days, whereas this week I'll have the, the car market guys coming, so. I'll be a big fish. Ooh, what's that? Are you Orms chanting me? Ma tutta la vita, guarda, quanti ne vuoi di Orms chant. You can play as many Orms chant as you want, my friend. One every turn. I'm, 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 I'm down for this. What popper am I playing? What popper deck am I playing? So every everyone who's everyone who's actually good at popper told me that blue red scred sucks, which is definitely something I didn't want to hear. Oh, you want me to show this guy? Mm, maybe. All right, I'm showing this one. But yeah, you're right. I should have showed the guy the souls. You're right. You're very much right. Yeah, so. Can you ask your thoughts on the breeze you're working on? Bono Blues Cheerios. I don't know what that means, but by then you have the Raviolo badge, so you can do anything you want. Okay, my opponent used the Galvanic Discharge. To fly the ocelot. And the race is on, ladies and gentlemen. If only I'd countered that Gato Souls, my opponent wouldn't have done anything. So big puns on my side. Big puns on my side. Big puns. Oh, Caputana. Should have countered the Gato Souls. Draw. Okay, I love this guy. Let's go. Cast it. If you want to win, shouldn't you play Brute Scale? A Brute, Brute Scale loses to Mono Red. It's like Mono Red is going to be for sure the most popular deck. So, no, I don't think so. I mean, it'll just get weird. I mean, can like. Yeah, I can like eventually go weird for the thing and then weird for the other thing. Which version of Blue Black Merc that do I play now in Modern? Me? I don't play that deck. But I have a video every Sunday that you can watch. I barely have time to practice for the weekend tournaments I go to. Which have been uh, Sealed, Dual Commander, Pioneer, and Flesh and Blood. And this weekend is Popper, and next weekend is for Season, and then I turn a weekend. So I don't have time to prepare any other format, any other deck. This. <laughs> this game that you think I am omniscience in every format. No, I have to actually have to practice to know these things. And it's difficult. Anyway, draw something. Sing it to stupid. Hmm. 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 Okay. Now. We have the idea of going. We are for the thing, the the the, the bloom, and then what do I show? Three, cinque, otto. I would need ten mana to kill with weir. Or no, think it to support the the ocelot sucks as a play. Giganta, you think I'm dead to Giganta? Hmm. I was, oh, because haste? No, okay. Oh, hey, wait. How's, how's Giganta hasty lethal? That's just... It's sep, it's 10 damage, right? Allora, 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 allora. If I go weird for Bloom... Ah, you know what I can do, chat? I can also weird for uh Prison, the, the Prison card. win if I because I have the the, the, the the portable hole huh? 
But it, they go Giganta, they fly it. What's my line? I go weird for portable hole, and that and then what's my line? I, I don't have a line to win, right? I guess it's just exactly draw Tameshi. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I think my out is just to survive this turn and then top deck Tameshi. Yeah, that's my line. Man, if I had countered this God of Souls, this game would have been like they wouldn't have done anything. So yeah, I punted this this match. I punted this match. If we counter this, their play is two ocelot, and in hand they have Galvanic Discharge, which sure I mean they can attack and the uh, Galv Discharge just with first strike, but you know, there's still two one ones and a bunch of other one ones. That's so long before they can kill me. Whereas now with Giganta, well sorry with Guide of Souls, they, they can actually kill me quick. All right, now Giganta comes. I'm showing F6, and then I'm gonna click five when they attack. Okay, they don't go for the lethal line. Yeah, all right, we gotta draw. I mean, they have one white, which is could be the 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 the, the worms chant. Ah, uh, yeah, let's draw the one and only Tameshi, please. Tam Ashi, pretty please. Now, now or never. Mamma mia, che culo. Eh, unfortunately, I can't cast this Jawari if they have the thing. They don't have the thing. Get cool, you care. So lucky. Great win by Belcher. Play bad, get rewarded. Never been punished in my life. To Mill and to Jund. But also there's one too. Oh, two, 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 two. I got 12 mana. I even have disruption up this way. Done. Goblin, Charbelcher. Et ding! On, de trois. Boom! All right. Okay, okay, three, two, three, two is all right, is all right, is all right, is all right, is all right. Good deck. Um, yeah, not too much to say. I think this list is pretty good right now. Again, it's the one Pia Gonti won a challenge and then won the modern monster. Uh, you know, back to back and like back to back day. So strong deck, definitely a contender for the post ban. The post ban, which will for sure hit the one ring and then you know maybe another card from energy. It's not, it's not guaranteed, but you know certainly won't touch this deck. Thank you for watching. If you're watching YouTube, make sure to subscribe.